I wouldn't consider it a molten hot take to say that Hollywood is not an amazing place, right? It's like the nether in Minecraft. You go there, you're gonna get some good loot, but you're probably gonna get some third degree burns as well on your way out. This is of course relevant today because of the writer's strike. You probably heard about this. If you have an internet connection, you've probably heard that the writer's strike is happening. I mean, it literally has caused the shutdown of like dozens, if not more, shows that uh, just can't run anymore, including late night television like SNL, which one might cheer for that, but it, it's, it's a genuine issue that's currently facing our country, and I wanted to add some input on it, as well as kind of inform you guys on what it is and stuff like that, because I like talking about things on my channel. You see, we're welcome to the channel. Drop a sub. Just join, join the homies. It is genuinely interesting how this all started, though. If you take it all the way back, it, it, it kind of starts with something that you guys might have noticed in the past few years. If you use Netflix or Disney Plus or anything really that has subscription like style services, you might have noticed that seasons and shows have gotten shorter. I mean, episodes definitely have gotten longer. We went from like 20 minute episodes to like hour and a half long episodes, but now we're working with like seasons that are like maybe five episodes a season, maybe six. You've probably seen on Disney Plus. I think like, like a lot of the new Marvel productions have been very short compared to like look at daredevil back on netflix in like the early 2010s was like 20 something episode seasons and there were multiple seasons a lot of them even though it was like not a massively profitable show it was just art and you can see it a lot with other sitcoms and stuff like that in the past they've gotten shorter over time in the modern day and that has caused writers to struggle with finding a job i mean think about it if you write for a show and the show ends you have no more money, especially when streaming services like Netflix and the like aren't really paying you that much. Uh, apparently, the median income for a writer has gone down 23% in the past few years, in including adjusting for inflation. So that is a lot of money lost. And I know I'm going to see the comment. I've seen them on Twitter already about people being like, we'll get a real job. I mean, wouldn't don't you want people to entertain? I feel like the whole concept of like considering art a useless job kind of defeats the jobs that have existed for literally thousands of years regarding art and the entertainment industry and humanity. I think it's a very important thing to consider, but I'll rant more about that later. I still want to give you guys more information on this topic. So the writers have been striking for a while, and you've probably seen, like, one thing that I saw was, like, Hassan Abi, one of the streamers on Twitch, he went out and gave pizza to a bunch of the writers. And as well as another actor, or I guess actor slash creator of content, Adam Conover from Adam Ruins Everything, has also been very big on this topic. I hear my washing machine squirting right now. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Can you hear that? But anyways, this inspired SAG-AFTRA uh, to also join the protests. And SAG-AFTRA is a, uh, let, me, let me read the actual definition, represents approximately 160,000 actors, announcers, broadcast journalists, dancers, DJs, news writers, news editors, program hosts, puppeteers, recording artists, singers, stunt performers, voiceover artists, and other media professionals. 160,000 of them, by the way. That is all your stunt doubles, that's all a lot of your actors, and a lot of just Hollywood as a whole. Essentially, the working class of Hollywood all got together and said, we are no longer working working for you because they also struggle with pay they also aren't getting paid enough like you might have seen the uh the leaks recently for deadpool 3 where you got to see deadpool and wolverine and their little outfits here let's get a little, little taste of it there there it is look at him well uh that movie is now getting postponed it was going to be releasing but it's getting postponed because of the writers and actors strike at this point and it, it just it, like, I, some people have a theory that they actually released this footage early intentionally so that they would get pissed at the writer's strike and be like, get back to work, we want to see the movie! But, if anything, it's kind of just inspired people to be more loyal to this cause. I mean, it's th the fact that these big businesses are refusing to pay their writers and actors is making it so we can't get movies that we enjoy. And, you know, that... That's bad. No, duh, it's bad. And of course, I actually, I was scared because Deadpool 3 at first was going to keep being made despite the writer's strike. And I was like, oh my God, that's bad. The movie's going to be ass. But now that they're pausing it, that's actually really nice because I hope they actually wait for humans to write it. Because <laughs> I, I know one of the big things is AI are going to replace humans and they're going to like replace and as the writers. Have you seen ChatGPT speak? Have you spoken to a Discord AI? Yeah, it sounds a little human. But can it write a script? Can it write a good script? Because I don't even think some humans can write good scripts lately, but some of them can. And AI can't! Speaking of Adam Conover from Adam Ruins Everything, by the way, let me give you a quick clip that he actually posted on Twitter about this situation on how you can support the cause if you want to. You don't have to. Literally, you could just do nothing and, like, you don't have to stop canceling streaming services. He actually, he talks about it here. But you don't have to support it, but 
watch what he has to say real quick. The number one question I get is how do I support writers and actors on strike? Do I cancel my streaming subscription? What do I do? Here's the answer. Neither the Writers Guild nor SAG-AFTRA is calling for a consumer boycott right now. Instead, we're asking people to do three things. One, post on social media, boost our message, say you stand with us. Number two, Follow our strike rules. Do not do the work of a striking writer or actor. That's called scabbing. We have facts on our websites that explain exactly what we're asking of non-members and what work we're asking them to refrain from. And finally, and most importantly, donate to the Entertainment Community Fund. This is an incredible nonprofit that supports writers, actors, and any crew member who needs help paying their rent or their medical bills. Every dollar you donate there will go to a writer, actor, or other entertainment worker in need that helps us stay on this picket line longer and that helps us win. We are so grateful to all of you for your support. Thank you so much. And remember, until the strike is settled, there will be no acting and no writing. And Adam Conover's video is actually the reason that I wanted to make this video today. See, I wanted to find a way to support the cause because I genuinely do think it is a genuinely good cause. I don't really have a lot of money considering I'm a college student, so my income is quite literally a negative, in <laughs> a negative number. But I, I wanted to make this video to share it to you guys because... Any way to get it out is extremely important, and this cause is genuinely an important cause. I mean, these writers create the content that we consume and enjoy on essentially a daily basis. I know a lot of you probably just watch YouTube, and that's not exactly a writer's job, but these movies that we consume, that a lot of people consume, are genuinely great pieces of art that we consume. Now, there are bad movies, but there are really good ones. I'm, I'm going to tackle that argument right now. I know there are shit movies. Shh, that's not what we're here for. And these unions are a good thing, right? Like, unions, I know unions, a lot of people are like, oh, they're fighting the system. Why are they doing this? I'm not a freedom fighter. Well, th these unions are vital. Unions are the reason that you don't have padlocks on your door when you're working your office job. Yeah, that used to be a thing. As well as, like, breaks. The concept of a break was created due to unions. These are all very important things. And I think that being able to pay someone a fair wage for a fair day's work is very important. And these movies, I know, make hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, Spider-Verse, Across the Spider-Verse made $700 million in the theaters alone. And so you're like, okay, where's all this money going? Well, a lot of it's going to the actors. They're the face of the movie. It makes sense. But these writers who put these movies together and write the scripts for them also deserve a fair bit of money. I, I would say I feel like that's not asking for too much. Giving someone money for doing a job? I don't know, man. Well, they actually responded to SAG-AFTRA, which is the Actors Guild, and uh, here's what they said here. There's a lot of different things that were written down here, right? There's a lot of different stuff you can see. Well, this <laughs> specific thing that I saw really puts the, the, the cherry on the cake here. Um, meal breaks. The increased penalties for not providing meal breaks? Rejected. Rest periods. Increased penalties for failing to provide rest periods. Also rejected. We are living in a dystopian society. What do you mean, rejected? Rich <laughs> what? And people will argue things like AI would do it better. AI can just replace them. Oh, they don't want to get paid? We can get an AI for free. Have you seen an AI talk? Like, yeah, they can talk fluent English, right? Sort of. But writing a complex script with, like, actions and words and emotion, I don't think ChatGPT can do that. At least not yet, and I don't really want it to happen, because the idea of a human creating art, while a chat GPT could do it, and give us endless slop and shit for us to watch endlessly, wouldn't the art coming from a genuine human be a little more genuine? Like, wouldn't that feel better? I, I get there are some people out there that don't really have s solid morals, <laughs> and they're like, replace them with AI if they don't want to accept the pay they're getting. But, I don't know, they went into this job due to their creativity. They want to utilize that creativity, and they want to get paid for that creativity, and they should. We've been doing that for thousands of years now. That is a thing that should be normal. But anyways, I am ranting too much. You want to know what they did in response to this? You'd think, oh, did they pay them? Did they, did they say sorry, at least? No, they started trimming the trees where they're protesting. How evil do you have to be? You are a Disney villain. These people are- uh, Look at this. Watch this TikTok real quick and then I'll get back to you, okay? Watch this. Striking union members used these trees for shade. Then NBC Universal chopped off the tops of them. Members claim the studio intentionally butchered the tree branches to take away a much needed source of shade during high temperatures. And this is comical. This has to be comical. I'm not going to sit through the whole thing because it is a news article and they're probably going to hit me with this force of a thousand suns with a copyright strike if I keep the whole thing. So, uh, that's that. <laughs> they- Look what they did to the trees! They shaved them! For what reason? Because they hate the- they want the writers to not be able to protest. Like- <laughs> Like, it has to be comical. Even people who don't exactly support the writers have to think that's a joke, right? Like, they have to see that and be like, that is the goofiest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I don't know. I, I had to rant about this in a video. I had to be able to show my support because this is so goofy. 
these people who put this work in to entertain us, while they aren't exactly creating bridges or building cars, they are doing a service that keeps us happy. And at the end of the day, with our one chance we have to live in this world, we should do it in a way that makes us happy. And these people who get to be creative and get to show their creativity through this art as well should be allowed to have that. Just because someone who's working in a minimum wage job doesn't have that as well, including myself, doesn't mean they have the right to be jealous for them or say that they shouldn't have it at all. I mentioned that in a previous video as well. But I'm talking way too much. This video is going to be way too long. I just need to get out of here. Thank you guys for sticking around for another video. Consider subscribing. Consider checking out the cause for the writer strike back in that Adam Conover video that I showed you guys earlier. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Stick around. Stay subscribed. Consider liking the video. And, uh, you know, as always, adios, arrivederci, goodbye, good night, and uh, keep on striking. Fuck those rich people.